Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1715, Nicholas Rowe's play The Tragedy of Lady Jane Grey premieres in London. In 1759, George Friedrich Handel is buried in Westminster Abbey in London. In 1862, the first pasteurization test is completed by Frenchman Louis Pasteur and Claude Bernard. In 1865, Crosby Opera House opens in Chicago. It burns to the ground in the Great Fire of 1871. In 1879, history's first recreational vehicle was used in a journey from London. Yep, it was horse-drawn. In 1887, Georges Bouton wins the world's first motor race on a steam-powered quadricycle. In 1889, Adolf Hitler is born today. I can think of many things to say about that, but I'm just going to leave it alone. In 1896, in the first public film shown in the United States, John Philip Sousa's El Capitan premieres in New York City. In 1902, Pierre and Marie Curie discover the radioactive element radium. In 1904, the Louisiana Purchase Exposition opens in St. Louis, Missouri. In 1912, Navin Field in Detroit and Fenway Park in Boston officially open. In 1916, the Chicago Cubs play their first game at Wegman Park, which is now called Wrigley Field, and beat the Cincinnati Reds 7-6. In 1918, Flying Ace, the Red Baron, whose real name is Manfred von Richthofen, shoots down his 79th and 80th victims, which are his final victories as he will die tomorrow. In 1920, tornadoes kill 219 people in Alabama and Mississippi. Also in 1920, and I love this one, Philly's manager Gravy Kravath puts himself into the game as pinch hitter. He hits a three-run homer and the Phillies beat the New York Giants 3-0. Just hilarious. In 1931, the British House of Commons agrees that sports can now be played on Sundays. In 1935, your hit parade begins broadcasting and quickly becomes radio's number one program. In 1939, Baseball Hall of Famer Ted Williams has his first MLB hit. In 1941, 100 German bombers attack Athens, Greece. In 1942, German occupiers forbid Dutch citizens access to their own beaches. In 1945, the Cleveland Browns organization is founded by Arthur Mickey McBride. In 1949, American actress Jessica Lange is born. In 1950, Baltimore's Memorial Stadium opens. In 1954, the Golden Apple opens at the Albin Theater in New York City for 125 performances. In 1957, New York Yankee Bill Scowron becomes the third player to hit a ball out of Fenway Park. Wow. In 1962, the New Orleans Citizens Company gives a free one-way ride to blacks if they move north. I don't think they were doing this out of kindness. In 1964, 86% of black students boycott Cleveland schools today. In 1967, New York Mets pitcher Tom Seaver wins his first game by helping beat the Cubs 6-1. Also in 1967, a Globe Air Bristol Britannia turboprop crashes at Nicosia, Cyprus, killing 126 people. In 1968, Pierre Trudeau became Prime Minister of Canada. Also in 1968, a South African Airways Boeing 707 crashes at Windhoek, killing 122 people. In 1969, at the 23rd Tony Awards, Great White Hope and 1776 win. In 1970, one of my wife's favorites, Shamar Moore, who plays Derek Morgan on Criminal Minds, was born today. In 1972, Apollo 16 lands on the moon. Also in 1972, Virgil Thompson's final opera, Lord Byron, is first performed at Lincoln Center in New York City. In 1973, serial killer Ed Kemper attempts to dispose of his mother's vocal cords in a kitchen sink waste disposal unit. In 1974, Paul McCartney and Wings released their song, Band on the Run, in the United States. 
Also in 1974, the Northern Ireland conflict between Republican and Loyalist paramilitaries claims its 1,000th victim. In 1975, at the 29th Tony Awards, Equus and The Wiz win. In 1976, former Beatle George Harrison sings the Lumberjack song on stage with Monty Python in New York City. In 1977, Annie Hall starring Woody Allen and Diane Keaton is released and receives the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1978. In 1979, President Jimmy Carter is attacked by a swamp rabbit after it swam up to his fishing boat in Plains, Georgia. Yep, it's true. In 1980, Cuban President Fidel Castro announces he is going to allow Cubans to leave. 125,000 take him up on it in the next five to six months, with most of them coming to the United States. In 1981, the final episode of hilarious TV show Soap airs. My wife and I still put it on often. Also in 1981, Earl Thomas Conley releases his song Fire and Smoke, and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1986, Jerry's Girls closes at the St. James Theater in New York City after 139 performances. Also in 1986, Michael Jordan sets an NBA playoff record by scoring 63 points in a single game today. And in 1986 as well, Vladimir Horowitz gives a piano performance in Moscow, his first appearance in his Russian homeland since 1925. In 1988, the Baltimore Orioles set a MLB record for the worst start to a season. Today they go 0-14 and, and will go 0-21 yet this season. Ouch. In 1990, Pete Rose pleads guilty to hiding $300,000 in income. In 1992, the 100th episode of American sitcom Murphy Brown airs tonight. Also in 1992, an all-star concert in memory of Freddie Mercury is held at Wembley Stadium in London. So I guess no one watched that 100th episode of Murphy Brown tonight. In 1992 as well, Madonna signs a $60 million deal with Time Warner. In 1994, serial killer Danny Harold Rawling, also known as the Gainesville Ripper, is sentenced to death in Florida. In 1996, the Chicago Bulls win a record 72 basketball games in a season. In 1998, an Air France Boeing 727 crashes into the Cerro El Cabo mountain after taking off from Bogota, Colombia, killing 53 people. In 1999, 15 people die and 24 are injured when two teenagers open fire at Columbine High School, south of Denver. In 2004, in Iraq, insurgents fire 12 mortars on Abu Ghraib prison, killing 22 detainees and wounding 92 more. In 2008, Danica Patrick won the IndyCar 300, becoming the first woman to win an IndyCar championship event. Also in 2008, at the 54th British Academy Television Awards, Phone Jacker wins Best Comedy and The Street wins Best Drama. In 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig explodes and leads to the largest accidental marine oil spill in history. In 2012, a plane crash near Islamabad, Pakistan kills 127 people. Also in 2012, 40 people are killed and 27 are injured after a tractor trailer collides with a bus in Alamo, Mexico. In 2012 as well, People Magazine names American actress Eva Mendez one of 2012's most beautiful at every age. Yep, I'll have to agree with that. In 2013, 193 people are killed and 11,826 are injured after a magnitude 7.0 earthquake strikes in China. Also in 2013, five snowboarders are killed by an avalanche in Loveland Pass, Colorado. In 2018, actress Allison Mack is arrested in New York on charges of sex trafficking for a sex cult. In 2020, the last three cruise ships that were still afloat amid the COVID pandemic finally dock at ports in France, Spain, and Los Angeles, California. In 2021, Derek Chauvin, a former police officer, was found guilty of killing George Floyd 
in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And lastly, in 2021 as well, the World Health Organization reports 5.24 million new cases of COVID-19 in the world today, setting a new one-week record. And I didn't want to put it on the list where it belongs, as I'm sure she wouldn't like me putting her age out there, but today is also my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Bethany. I love you. Thanks for watching today's show. I appreciate it. Make sure you come back and watch some more tomorrow. Heck, watch some more right now. And wish my wife a silent happy birthday. Talk to you tomorrow.